Welcome to our discussion on a critical economic issue that has far-reaching implications for India. Today, we'll explore the recent suggestion from the Economic Survey to remove food prices from the inflation target of the Reserve Bank of India, RBI. This proposal, if implemented, could significantly impact how inflation is controlled in the country. Let's break this down in simple terms. In India, food prices have been persistently high, with a year-on-year -year increase close to 10% as of June 2024. This isn't a new trend. Food inflation has been rising since 2019. Since food makes up nearly half of household expenses in India, high food prices directly impact the majority of the population. The economic survey suggests that food prices should be excluded from the inflation target. This would mean focusing on what economists call core inflation, which excludes volatile items like food and fuel. The idea behind this is that food prices are often seen as temporary fluctuations. However, in India, this assumption doesn't hold true. Food prices have been consistently rising for over a decade, meaning they are far from temporary. India has been following an inflation targeting policy since 2016, where the RBI tries to control inflation by adjusting interest rates. However, the RBI has consistently missed its 4% target. The problem isn't unique to India. Central banks in other countries like the UK and the US have faced similar challenges, often influenced by global food prices. Excluding food from the inflation target might seem like a way to simplify things, but it's not a solution. Rising food prices are central to India's inflation problem. Ignoring them won't help the RBI control inflation any better. Moreover, core inflation is not easy to control. Raising interest rates, which is the RBI's main tool, doesn't always work as expected. Higher rates can lead to higher prices as businesses try to protect their profits. Additionally, food prices influence wages, which in turn affect the cost of everything else. So, food inflation ends up driving core inflation too. The suggestion to exclude food prices from the inflation target reflects a global shift in economic thinking, where central banks focus on inflation while markets handle production. But for India, this approach might be misguided. Without addressing food inflation, we risk a situation where rising food prices harm a large section of the population. The only effective way to control inflation in India is to address rising food prices directly. This requires a strong focus on boosting agricultural production, not just tweaking interest rates. Simply excluding food prices from the inflation target could have harmful consequences for the economy and people's well-being. Thank you for watching, keep learning, and stay tuned for more insightful discussions on topics that matter.